What's up guys, Dave here. Today we're gonna to be talking about something that affects just about everybody, in particular entrepreneurs trying to get them points. Credit cards. While we're seeing record rates of unemployment, layoffs, defaults, and the stock market going nutso, credit card companies are changing up the rules and that can affect you big time. So we're gonna cover three main points right now. Number one, the tremongous overhaul coming to the credit card industry. Yes, I did just make up the word chumungus, but it sounds good. So let's add that to the dictionary. You guys got that? A added that to the dictionary. Okay, thanks Webster. Number two, how rewards on credit cards are going to be changing. Since travel has, let's just say, been less than energetic lately. And number three, some of the best cards to grab if you're looking to get some more credit. And I'm going to explain in a second why you might need more credit very soon. But first, pound the like button like a screen door in a hurricane and subscribe if you're feeling extra naughty. Giggity, giggity. The like helps this video get seen by a lot more people and it's also gonna make you feel really good about yourself. I promise. So let's get started. Lowering people's credit limits based on what they think your ability to pay back your bills every month is. You also might have told them you made a certain amount and then they find out that maybe you're not making that same amount right now and then they lower your credit limit. They have algorithms that kind of know ahead of time if you're heading for some hard times. Hey, this guy's been laid off. He's cut his credit limit. No more toilet paper for him. No more toilet paper. They did this in the 2008 Recession, great recession. And what they like to do is secure themselves a little bit to head it off at the pass and they give you less credit. But this has a lot of problems and it cascades like a waterfall for the consumer. So you might be in for a big surprise the next time you go to buy something big and you thought you had a couple extra thousand dollars limit on your credit card. You might need to go buy something before they send you the letter that says, hey bro, we took away your credit limit. They've been lowering limits without advance and they can do this most of the time. They might get some information, for instance, that you got laid off or that maybe you're claiming unemployment, or maybe you're not making the same amount of money, or you missed some payments on something else, or maybe you needed to get a forbearance on your mortgage, or maybe you put a pause on the lease as a business owner of the building that you're leasing. They can gather this information from other sources, and then they make the appropriate changes to your credit limit. So for instance, you own a restaurant, and because you were forced to close, you probably don't have as much business, and you're doing maybe curbside delivery or something like that. You're not making as much money, and your landlord's like, don't worry, just, we'll push the mortgage, your lease, your business lease off four or five months, uh, and then we'll catch you back up, because I don't want to lose all my money and lose all my tenants. And so it's a win-win, but this gets reported to your credit, whether it's a business credit report or maybe a personal credit report, anything that you sign for personally. The credit card company gets wind of this and says, uh-oh, this person stopped paying one of their major bills. We're going to lower our credit limit for them as well. So all of a sudden, that credit card you had maybe had a $100,000 limit that you bought all your business supplies on and your food and restaurant, whatever it is. And then they lowered all of a sudden to $10,000. You might have been using that as a 30-day float for your business. You don't have that access of the limit anymore. So be careful of that. And they do it with no notice. It just happens. And yes, this is happening. This happened during the 2008, 9, 10, all those years downturn. Uh, and they mitigated their risk there. There's a problem with this though. It might help protect them, but it sinks the consumer into further problems because now they don't have the credit they were hoping to rely on. And then they start defaulting on more things and get even less credit. This has a chain reaction in the economy. Fun fact, they can do this for your HELOC, your home equity mortgage as well. If you have a home equity line of credit, you might say, say maybe they approved you for $100,000. And it's one of those ones that you can draw and pay back. Well, they see that you missed another payment on something and then they will take that 100,000 and maybe cut it so you can't borrow anything or they'll cut it to 50,000 or they'll cut it to $10,000. Dear homeowner, kiss your new pool goodbye. Yes, they can most likely do this. Yes, I've seen it happen before in the last downturn to a lot of people. So be on the lookout for all that really fun stuff. The other unfortunate thing about this happening is, is that your credit score will probably dip as your revolving credit limit dips, causing more problems because they'll get closer together. You have this amount of limit on your card. 
you had this amount you were spending and this space was, hey, he's got a good credit score. They lower this amount. This, it doesn't mean you spent more. They just lowered your credit limit. That's your credit score getting knocked down a lot. A whole bunch of points. So for example, you had $10,000 spending limit. You only spent $5,000. The credit card company sees that maybe you paused something like your mortgage for a couple months. Now all of a sudden your credit limit is no longer 10,000, it might be 5,000. And then you have 10,000, I mean a $10 limit left over. Oof. Now your credit score takes a big hit. The other cards see that your credit score took a big hit. Boom. And it gets worse. There isn't much you can do about this, but if this does happen to you, it's worth a shot to call the person, the bank that owns your HELOC or the credit card company to see if you can't get that credit limit raised. Also be on notice that credit cards from now until maybe the next year or two or three, depending on what happens with the economy, could be harder to get or could be a lot harder to get. And next up, rewards. Changing pace to something that's a little bit more happy talk. And I'll also talk about the card that I like to use. And I use this for my ad spends and a lot of business expenses. When you do digital marketing like me or an entrepreneur, you probably have expenditures and you might have high revenue and high costs as well. And you can get a ton of points using a credit card. It's one of the coolest things about digital marketing when you do ad spend. So you build up a whole bunch of points and you get to travel everywhere. So next week I'm going to go to, oh, I can't go anywhere. Anyway, the points are still worth something, and when things go back to normal, you'll have them all built up to use them and splurge on them. I like the American Express Platinum Card. They did not pay me to say that. Why do I like it? Because it's metal. Can you hear that? The card's metal. And besides, it's got some cool reward programs I'll tell you about. Since no one's traveling anymore or right now um, and people are spending a little bit less, they extended the amount of time it was for you to have your minimum spend if you sign up for a new card. So they usually run an offer for the American Express Platinum business and you get around 60,000 extra points for the card, but you have to spend $5,000 in three months. And they extended that three months into six months. So that's kind of cool. So you have double the amount of time to spend your $5,000. If you're spending less than $5,000 a month with business expenses, I probably wouldn't get this card. But if you're doing over $5,000, $10,000, $20,000, $100,000 a month, it really pays off in the long run. You'll have vacations galore paid for with points. American Express Platinum Business also added a streaming bonus. So the streaming bonus works for Hulu or Spotify. So you get a $20 credit towards any of those services. So if you have Hulu for... I don't know, was it 14, 15 or something bucks? That's paid for for the month and that's cool. So it'll be charged and uh, they give you the credit back. This makes up for the fact that you probably aren't using one of their other perks, the $200 airline uh, credit or lounge access that they have, which is one of the cool perks when you are able to travel. Amex has the, um, where you can use the lounges in a ton of airports. They have a Centurion lounge, and they give you access to, I think it's called Priority Pass. And who doesn't like chilling out in lounges? They usually have food. Sometimes they have free liquor. Woo! Somebody say lounge. I only get bottle service, even when I'm at Starbucks. Thank you, Adam. Also, the Chase Sapphire card is offering five times points back for your groceries. So if you didn't hoard enough Top Ramen already, you didn't collect enough canned soup or those delicious canned meats, now you can, and you'll get travel points to go along with it. Sapphire points. Now you probably can't use these travel points until next year anyway, like I just said, but hey, it's good to build them up and then take that family on that Disney cruise or something. I don't know if you can use them on a Disney cruise, but you can use them on the air flight, the, the flights probably. You can probably use them on the flights, but seriously, that's pretty cool. Five times points on things that you would buy anyway. That's a really cool deal. And now for the cards that I recommend. Well, like I said before, I use the American Express Platinum Business Card mostly for my digital advertising stuff. I do have a gold card and that gives you extra points for uh, you pick which marketing, like if you do a lot of Facebook ads, you can use it uh, to get extra points, but it only goes up to $100,000 in ad spend. And for a lot of digital marketers, we run through that real quick. So that card's cool and all, but I like to, and they also combine them. So you can have a gold and a platinum and they'll put the points all into one account. So if you want to travel, you've got all those points sitting there. 
They also have a, another cool bonus that I like. When you book first class through American Express Travel with your points from that card, and you book first class, they give you 35% of the points back. So you get a 35% discount when you use points to book first class. And so it almost makes the cost of first class, especially if you're doing it last minute, because first class uh, flights usually are stay around the same cost. They go up and down, but they kind of hover pretty expensive. And say your flight from LA to New York was $350 and you have to you have like three weeks notice or two weeks notice to go and you want to book that flight, that flight might be $650 or $700 now. That first class flight might be like $950 for the first class seat. And with a 35% discount, it's a, it might be about the same price to fly coach. And so you don't have to sit with all the chicken coops in the back of the economy section. Especially now, you don't want somebody breathing on you all. <sighs> coughing on you on an airplane. So this will help you out too, sitting in first class. Like maybe the air is cleaner. I don't know. But it's better than sitting in economy. They used to be at 50% off for this, but they changed it to 35% because it was so popular, I'm assuming. And so that's about it on the credit card situation. Those couple points are really big news and you got to watch out for them because it's happened before and it's about to happen again. If it's not already happening right now, which it probably is, which I think it is. And that's why I'm writing this video. But be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the like button. It really helps out. Other people can see this video. Make sure you hit the chime bell when you subscribe so you get notifications every time I release a video. I release these pretty often and they're usually pretty entertaining and they're always informative. I talk about work from home items, things that entrepreneurs need to know, and anything you might have if you run your own business or you run your business from home. I've got the tips, I've got news on what's going on, and I've got help. And if you're interested in digital marketing, I got a ton of links below that show you how I do what I do for my day job that lets me talk on the YouTubes whenever I feel like it. My channel's gotten a lot of traction lately. I just fired it up and I've already gone past uh, a certain threshold of subscribers. And I want to thank everybody so much who subscribed so far. You get to start on the ground floor and we're going to go to space, baby. We're going to go all the way. I've been adding subscribers faster than a homemade burrito goes to a six-year-old's digestive tract. So hop on board the choo-choo-poo-poo choo-choo train. I'll be seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Dave out. Giggity, giggity.